After some experimentation, I've come up with a simple but effective laser scanning effect using Blender's geometry and shader nodes. So I start with the mesh plane that I parent to the scanner model before applying a geometry node modifier. Then I replace the mesh with a curved line and set the width so it's even on both sides using this node group. To add more resolution, I used a resample curve node and put anything I wanted to scan inside its own collection, including the floor. Next, I use a raycast and set position to project the line onto their surfaces. And to adjust the spread, I map the curve factor to the ray direction. Then I use a curve to mesh set position and the endpoint as a selection to pinch the top of the laser to the origin. If I want to maintain the original width, I can store the position of the original curve and use that instead. And so using the curve factor for the ray direction creates these realistic interruptions in the laser. Everything else is done in the material after I store the factor of the original curve and the extruded rays, then use them alongside a gradient texture to mix a transparent and emission shader together to create a more feathered look. For the intense scan line, I clamp down the length attribute to mix in an emission shader with a much higher value. And I create the flickering effect by combining the width attribute with a couple of basic math functions I can then animate using hash frame. 